everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be discussing assignments, not how to create assignments. I do have a lot of tutorial videos on that, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but today we'll be discussing how to use the navigational tool for assignments. This covers how to create uh, assignment groups or categories, and then also how to weigh those categories. Uh, then I'll show you also how you can edit your assignment dates all at once instead of having to go into each assignment and do that one by one. So let's get started. All right, so I am in a Canvas course right now. I have selected the assignments navigational tool within the course navigation. And what I'm going to do is change up my groups, my assignment groups. Right now, one is auto-generated for me, assignments. It was generated for me automatically because I started to create assignments in modules before I created my assignment groups. Um, so that's why this is here, but I need to change this. So I have two ways in which I can create groups. One, I can alter this group that's already created for me, or two, I can click on this group button over here. Since I have two categories that I need to make, I'm gonna show you both. So let's show you how you would change this one first. So all I have to do to edit this one or alter it is click the three dots and select edit. And now I can change this to whatever name. So I'm going to make it formative since that's what my school has for their assignment categories. And then I'm going to put in the correct weight or percent. So it's 15% of their grade. Uh, this doesn't really apply to me down here. So it's like number of scores to ignore for each student. So you can choose to ignore, you know, the lowest score that they received or the highest scores that they received. That's dependent upon you. And then within that customizing, uh, you're ignoring it, you could say it never ignores or never drops a specific assignment score. Um, so that is completely up to you. I don't really use that though for me personally. So then we'll click save. And then from here, now we have this new category at 15%. I need my second category. So I'm going to click plus group and add my summative. And this is going to be 85% of the total grade. So now down here, I have my summative category and I can place the assignments that belong in this category by clicking and dragging them there below. So I'm gonna just do that real quick because all of the project ones go down here. Okay, so everything is now placed in the correct category. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to adjust due dates all at once. So all you have to do is click the three dots here and then click edit assignment dates. This gives you a list of all of your assignments with the due date or due at, so due date, available from and available until. So instead of having to go into every individual assignment, you can now quickly alter all the assignments from right here. So for example, if I wanna change this unavailable until date, all I have to do is click the uh, available until box. And let's say I wanna make it available until the 14th of December now. I can do it that way. I can also change the due date so I can uh, make the due date, let's go all the way to November, make it the November 20th, um, but they have it available until the 14th. So just so you can like alter things and all that, and then you can select the box here and then click save and it saves your dates like that. Makes it a lot quicker, especially if you're doing multiple assignments. Okay, so then also I can select um, different assignments, click botch edit, and then I can also from here adjust the due date. So I can shift them to any specific day. I can completely remove the due date and the availability date or just one or the other. Um, I can also select um, assignment dates between different ranges to show up or be selected. This is just another really cool way that you can shorten up some of your workload to assign multiple due dates or change multiple due dates to assignments all at once instead of having to do it multiple times over and over again to each assignment. 
All right, guys, I hope this was really helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, um, but I'll see you all next time. Thanks.